In a remarkable continuation of history, Danish monarchs have proudly served as patrons of the Society of Sciences since the reign of Christian VI. Recently, His Majesty the King assumed this prestigious role, taking over from Her Majesty Queen Margrethe following the change of throne earlier this year. Today, he visited the Society's headquarters at the Carlsberg Foundation's domicile on H.C. Anderson Boulevard in Copenhagen, marking a significant moment for both the monarchy and the scientific community. What insights did the king gain during this visit? If you're curious about the intersection of royal tradition and scientific advancement, be sure to subscribe for more fascinating updates. During his visit, the king participated in a meeting and shared lunch with key figures from the society, including President Suzanne Ditlevsen, General Secretary Thomas Sinkjer, and Head of Secretariat Karen Kjer Madsen. These discussions highlighted the importance of collaboration between the monarchy and the scientific community. But what does this partnership mean for the future of science in Denmark? Will the king's involvement spark new initiatives and support for research? One of the most intriguing parts of the visit was the King's tour of the Society's historic archives. He had the opportunity to view Christian V.I.'s royal rescript, which established the Society of Sciences on January 11, 1743. This document, signed by Christian VI himself, signifies over two centuries of commitment to advancing scientific knowledge in Denmark. How does such a rich history influence the Society's current goals and projects? The Society of Sciences plays a crucial role in strengthening the position of science in Denmark. Its mission includes promoting basic scientific research and fostering interdisciplinary understanding. In a world where collaboration is more important than ever, how can the society bridge gaps between various fields of study? The King's patronage is sure to shine a spotlight on these vital efforts. As the King embraces his new role, the question arises, how will he use his influence to support scientific endeavors? His presence can elevate public interest in science, inspiring future generations to pursue research and innovation. Could this lead to a renaissance of scientific exploration in Denmark? In conclusion, the King's visit marks not just a ceremonial change, but a renewed commitment to the advancement of science in Denmark. As we witness this royal support for the scientific community, it's clear that the future holds exciting possibilities. If you're as eager as we are to see how this partnership unfolds, don't forget to subscribe for all the latest news and insights. Together, we can explore the fascinating world where royalty meets research.